If you're like me and can make decisions, deciding which monitor to buy is a difficult task, especially when you've come down to two choices. No matter what you choose, you'll both be happy and have regrets. And what if those two monitors are so close that you can't make that decision? Hey, I'm Nicholas from Matings.com. Today we're going to compare two monitors from the Asus ROG Swift lineup. The PG32 UCDM, which came out last year, and the newer PG27 UCDM. They're both 4K 240Hz QD OLEDs, with one main difference being the size. As their name suggests, the PG32 UCDM is 32 inches, and the PG27 UCDM is 27 inches. On paper, they have most of the same features, like Dolby Vision support, and are pretty similar. But the smaller model still has some newer perks. Does this make a big difference? And which one should you get? We're going to start this video by repeating just how similar these two monitors are. They both have QD OLED panels, and if you've been paying attention to our channel, you know what to expect from a QD OLED. A perfect contrast ratio in dark rooms without any blooming. A near instant response time for extremely sharp motion. Wide viewing angles that make them great for sharing your screen with someone else. The list goes on. We also know about the downsides of QD OLEDs, like the risk of burn-in and the fact that the black levels rise in bright rooms, making them look purple. Both monitors have these pros and cons, and we could pretty much say the same thing about any QD OLED out there. But instead of focusing on what's the same between the two monitors, we're going to talk about what's different. Let's start with the biggest difference besides the size, and that's actually the inputs. That's because Asus gave the new 27-inch model a DisplayPort 2.1 input instead of the DP 1.4 input that the older 32-inch model has. What does this mean exactly? The 27-inch monitor supports higher bandwidth over DisplayPort, up to 80 gigabits per second at UHBR20 speeds to be exact. And you might be wondering, what does this mean? If you have a new graphics card that also supports DB 2.1 at UHBR20, you could get the max 4K resolution and 240Hz refresh rate without using any compression on the 27-inch model. The 32-inch model still needs DSC compression for 4K 240Hz signals over DisplayPort. You might simply prefer not using DSC if you have the proper PC to do so, even if compression is advertised as visually lossless. Besides that, they have the exact same inputs, including the USB hub with a KVM switch, so you can connect all kinds of devices and use them on different sources. They each have HDMI 2.1 bandwidth ports, so they both support any signal with an Xbox or PS5 too. Just keep in mind that you still need to use DSC to get the max refresh rate over HDMI. But there is one difference when it comes to gaming. That's because the 27-inch model has lower input lag with 60 and 120Hz signals. This leads to a more responsive feel and can help if you play games that need fast reactions at those refresh rates, like on consoles. Besides gaming, their sizes play a factor in another of the bigger differences, and that's text clarity. That's because the smaller screen has higher pixel density, which helps make text look sharper. It's honestly a big enough difference to notice when you're looking at a web page or reading a document. And while they both have fringing issues that are typical of QD OLEDs, like at the top and bottom edges of windows, it's just harder to see these things on the 27-inch monitor. Just how much this bothers you changes from person to person though. Before we wrap things up, there are some minor differences in picture quality between the two, but these can come down to panel variants. For example, the 27-inch model gets brighter in both SDR and HDR, so it's the better choice to use in a bright room if you like tuning the brightness to the max. Even the reflection handling is a bit better on the PG27 UCDM, but the difference is hard to tell here. The 27-inch model also has much better accuracy before any sort of calibration, which is good to know if you want to use it for content creation. But we actually had more success properly calibrating the 32-inch model, as colors are a bit oversaturated on the 27-inch after we calibrated it. Just keep in mind that's by using our calibration methods and things can change depending on how you calibrate them. Even color accuracy varies between units. And there are even some small differences with colors in HDR. The 27-inch model displays more colors in the DCI-P3 color space, and the 32-inch model is better in the Rec 2020 color space. But these differences are so minor, you need to be an expert in colors to even notice them. So with all that said, which one is better? Neither. Okay, the answer isn't so straightforward. Clearly, the PG27 UCDM is on top if you have a DisplayPort 2.1 graphics card that can take full advantage of it. Or at least this monitor is future-proof for when these graphics cards become more accessible. But if you don't have a DisplayPort 2.1 graphics card, or if you're going to connect over HDMI, 
then the playing field is a lot more even between the two. In all honesty, choosing one over the other really comes down to size preference. Sure, the 27 inch monitor has the better text clarity, but the 32 inch offers a more immersive feel and more space for multitasking. So that's why when deciding between the two, you first have to think about the size you want. With more 4K 27 inch QD OLEDs coming out this year, we'll likely say the same when comparing them to their 32 inch counterparts. That's just the reality of the QD OLED gaming market right now. They're all so similar and any differences really come down to size and features. That's all for the comparison between the Asus RG Swift PG27 UCDM and the Asus RG Swift PG32 UCDM. If you want more details on the monitors, check out our written reviews. The links are in the description below. Until next time, I'm Nicholas from Ratings.com, where we help you find the best product for your needs. Ciao. I think we have the wrong monitor here. Uh, this is the PG32 UCDP. We need the UCDM. But what? PG32 UCDM. Oh. <laughs> Wait, I didn't. <laughs> I was just getting back at you from last week. <laughs>